Professor Nataraju, who is who is also my professor. Asma Ma'am is here, who is also my teacher. So it gives me uh, immense pleasure to be chairing this session. You know, after a period of nine years, again we started nine years ago, and uh, me and along with Syed sir, we started this uh, on the topic of cyber espionage. And now we have come one full circle and I remember it was during the time of February, March that we had conducted that session. So it is exactly after 9 years today that I am before all of you. It gives me immense pleasure to be coming back and to be chairing this session. Uh, I request all the participants to switch on their cameras. You can keep yourself on mute for the time being and once the chair recognizes you, you can uh, start with your speeches but meanwhile i request everyone to kindly switch on your cameras Delegates, I cannot force you because you are all esteemed delegates of your, you know, respective countries, but it's my earnest request that all of you kindly switch on your cameras. Uh, the rapporteur also, I request the rapporteur if uh, is present, kindly switch on the camera. Madam Chair. Madam Chair. Chair. Yes. Would it be okay if we establish roll call first? I require the rapporteur for that, right? So thank you, ma'am. Yeah. Good afternoon. This is a rapporteur. I'm joining in, in the boardroom. You want me to join through? A... Okay, okay. Uh, no, no, no. That's fine. That's fine. You're joining through the boardroom. Great. No problem. So now let us formally begin this session. I hereby call this World Trade Organization session to order. Is there a motion to open the debate? The delegate of Afghanistan would like to. Yes, so from now onwards, let us keep it this way that any delegate who wishes to speak shall raise their hand as per the uh, that's on available on the software and I shall recognize the same and then the delegate is allowed to speak. Right? So delegate of Afghanistan, can you please open uh, the motion for the debate? <laughs> Delegate of Afghanistan, yes, you're recognized. Madam? Yes, delegate, please state the motion. Uh, um, ma madam, I couldn't catch what you just uh, told. Could you please repeat yourself? Could you state the motion? Could you propose a motion? De definitely, Madam Chair, thank you. The delegate of Afghanistan would like to raise a motion to establish roll call. Yes, any seconds? Kindly raise your hands. Yes, Delegate of Spain and Republic of Malta have recognized this. All those in favor of this motion, kindly raise your hands. This motion clearly passes. I request the rapporteur to kindly take the roll call. The delegates may uh, either answer in present or present in voting as it is clear present means you can at the end when the draft resolution is passed you can either say yes no or abstain from voting but if you are saying present and voting then you cannot abstain you will have to either say yes or no to the draft resolution i believe that is clear i request the rapporteur to take the roll call thank you chair uh, delegates kindly pay attention i'm starting the roll call Afghanistan. Present. Albania. To paucity of time. Owing to paucity of time, this is how we will be going through this. Generally, a model United Nations goes up to two, sometimes three days as well. What we're trying to do at this point in time is to give an experience of the MUN without actually adhering to the two, three days timeline. So what we will be doing is that we will be starting with the general speakers list, moving on to one or a maximum of two moderated caucuses. Then we will have an unmoderated caucus in which 
uh, all the delegates are allowed to have their personal G meets uh, if they want to do it, or otherwise uh, they can somehow talk, coordinate with each other and come up with the draft resolution. I would request that all the participants, all the delegates use that unmoderated caucus judiciously so as to draft the draft resolution. And at the end of the day, that we will have the reading of the draft resolution. Any friendly or unfriendly amendments and we will have the passing of this we plan to do all of this before 4 30 that is one hour from now so i'm requesting everyone to kindly map out what they want to speak and how they want to present it uh, in their heads right away i have given you enough um, you know heads up for this so we will start now right are there any points or motions on the floor Point of parliamentary inquiry. Yes, Delegate of Malta. Uh, what about the working papers? Uh, do we uh, directly go to the draft resolution or we uh, work for the working paper? No, today we will not be using the working paper. We will directly go to the draft resolution. Thank you. Yes. Are there any points or motions on the floor, delegates? Kindly raise your hands. Um. Unfortunately, I'm not. Yes, delegate uh, state of Palestine is recognized. Thank you, respected chair, for your recognition. And the state of Palestine would like to raise a motion to begin with the GSL. Right. Any seconds to this motion? State of Palau has um, seconded this motion. All those in favor, kindly raise your hands. All those in favor. Kindly raise your hands. Many of you are not participating delegates. Please raise your hands if you are in favor of establishment of the general speakers list. Still very, very less. If we don't establish the general speakers list, there is no point of having this model United Nations. Everyone please has to in a way uh, agree to this. Good. Yes. Yes. So it has to be participative. Uh, this motion passes. Are there any motions to establish the agenda? Kindly raise your hands. The delegate of Afghanistan. Just a second. Uh, state of uh, delegate of Afghanistan. Just a second. It's delegate of Zimbabwe. Would you like to establish the motion? Yeah, ma'am. Yes, please do. Like, ma'am, I want to say I'm in the favor of the motion. Yes, all right. Uh, is there any delegate who would like to establish the agenda? The delegate of Afghanistan would like to establish the agenda. I the delegate, would of like the delegate it ha you have to be recognized. Okay, ma'am. Delegate of United Kingdom, you are recognized. Can you please establish the agenda? United Thank Kingdom. you so much for such a wonderful recognition. I would like to establish the agenda of the Samuel, which is trade for peace under the hegemony of World Trade Organization. The proposed agenda is integration of trade and peace in? In conflict affected states. In conflict affected states. All those in favor of this motion, kindly raise your hands. All those in favor? Delegate of Cameroon, Somalia, Colombia, Thailand, I do not see hands raising in favor. Delegate of Lebanon, Mongolia, Malawi, Switzerland, Nepal, Bangladesh. Many of you are not participating. Please make it participative. Yes, this motion passes and now we enter the general speakers list. This uh, in the general speakers list, it will be for 60 seconds. Each delegate will be allowed 60 seconds to propose whatever stance they have on this proposed on this agenda, on this established agenda, right? So uh, all those delegates wishing to place their points in this general speakers list, kindly raise your hands. Okay. Just a second. Mm. 
I need more delegates. Delegate of Malta, followed by delegate of Afghanistan. After that, delegate of El Salvador. And uh, yes, for the time being, these three, and then I will state the rest. Delegate of Malta, then delegate of Afghanistan, followed by delegate of El Salvador. Delegate of Malta, you have 60 seconds. Uh, can I start here? Yes, yes, please do. Follow the chair and listen with delegates. Malta, strategically positioned at the crossroads of European countries and the northern shores of Mediterranean, and its strategy serves as a bridge for dialogue and regional collaboration. Our unique geography of location has afforded us the opportunity to play a pivotal role in promoting understanding and cooperation among us. The island nation of Malta maintains long standing and amicable relationships with the countries in North Africa and the Middle East, considering them not just as neighbors in geographical terms, but also as partners with shared historical, linguistic, cultural, and social economic similarities. This proximity uh, reinforces our commitment to foster mutual collaboration for a flourishing of this country. At the heart of Malta's local governance structure are local councils playing a vital role in community development. These councils bring decision makers closer to the interests of the local constituency, fostering local democracy, and providing essential services that improve the quality of uh, life and well being of the local community. Malta plays with great importance on the free state stability. Can get of Malta? Time is up. Uh, can I just conclude, my son? Yes, please. Uh, we look forward to further collaboration and we will continue to facilitate meetings to enhance the fight against terrorist threats in our shared neighborhood, which poses a threat to the region's people. Thank you. Thank you. Delegate of Afghanistan, you were recognized next. Thank you for recognizing me, Chair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. This is the delegate of Afghanistan representing the Republic of Afghanistan. Now, since 2015, the government of Afghanistan has adopted a three step plan to match the SDGs and also to make sure that all of the conflicts that are happening in our borders or also internationally are not subsequently affecting us. That includes nationalization, alignment and implementation of various schemes and also national programs, uh, projects and interventions required to achieve the targets and indicators. The very the very prospect, uh, pro prospectus relating to this was submitted to the WTO in advance in itself. Over the coming months, we'll be taking a closer look at several SDGs that are relevant to our work and exploring some of the challenges we have faced in implementing them. And also in the global peace index uh, we have a rating of 54.5 percent of its population living below the uh, national poverty line in our country therefore we hope these insights will help contribute to the ongoing conversations about the applicability of these SD sdgs in places of extreme poverty and conflict so that we can make trade more inclusive and also make sure that we achieve world peace thank you thank you delegate of afghanistan uh, delegate of el salvador was recognized next Thank you so much for the said recognition, Chair. I'm honored to represent El Salvador, a nation with a rich history of steadfast commitment to regional stability and glo global cooperation. So El Salvador has uh, contributed to the SDGs in various ways. We have what we have done is so far we have integrated the SDGs into our national planning in our planning in our uh, national development plan of 2014 to th 2019. There was a substance. There were various substantial plans and these SDGs were guiding policy making and resource allocation as well as uh, in, our, in our SDG 1 and SDG, SDG 2 being no poverty and zero hunger. We have also included program schemes and food security initiatives along with healthcare education and environment protection. We also believe that cross-border disputes should be settled in an amicable way, which is why we have also taken up various uh, alternative dispute resolution systems in our country, and we also look forward to, uh, to, the, to, to promoting peace in the nation. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Delegate. Uh, delegates, keep kindly keep your hands risen so that I can see and recognize uh, respective states. Any other nations wishing to address be gathering the the, 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 the honorable WTO. Kindly raise your hands. Delegate of United Kingdom, followed by delegate of China, UK, and then China, followed by state of Palestine. Then uh, state of Palau. Yes, UK, China, Palestine, and then Palau. Right, uh, UK, you have 60 seconds. 
thank you chair uh, i would like to begin this address by uh, by working by proposing to work for a more inclusive trade agreement uh, one example is free trade uh, okay. agreements uh, sorry for the interruption sorry for the interruption uh, it's a sincere request at least when yes, you sir. speak out and you represent your country within 60 seconds you please turn on your camera so that it will be more effective thank you Okay, ma'am. So shall I? So shall I restart my address or just continue yes. okay. where I left? Please proceed, and your time starts now. Please proceed. Okay, thank you. So I would like to begin this address by 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 proposing for a more inclusive and inclusive and conclusive free trade agreements. My country, United Kingdom, has. Uh, has participated in 38 free trade agreements and the most popular one being the most recent one with India. It, it also includes free trade agreements with a lot of war stricken countries like Albania, Cariforum, Sudan, Af Afghanistan as well. I would like to pass the motion that free trade agreements should also be made more inclusive than they already are because that would help actually help uh, war stricken nations to inch towards stability. Thank you. Yes, thank you, Delegate. Uh, Delegate of China was recognized next. Thank you for recognizing me. Can you switch on your camera? And there is a network issue. All right, please continue. China continues to play a major role in the global economy, accounting for more than 18% of global GDP at the start of 2022. Despite the union state deficit with China, the intermediate influences the impact of globalization on Global trade, this includes themes such as and such subsidies, areas such as science, technology, food, and base metals, the last of which has implications for global community prices in the event of stock filling. Another country, China's pivot to high manufacturing, such as advanced semiconductors. WTO membership opens up China's market for more international trade and investment and opens up the world economy for China's exports. Some observers see it is a positive force for China's economic development, but others are concerned that the competition for an import and foreign enterprise in China might destroy important economic institutions, which will be affected as a topic to be addressed in this session. Thank you, uh, Delegate of China. Delegate of um... Palestine was recognized next, followed by Delegate of Palau. Delegate of Palestine, you have the floor. Yes, Delegate of Palestine, you have the floor for 60 seconds. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, respected DB, for your recognition. The situation ongoing in Palestine is not just a humanitarian crisis, but a pure open crime committed by great nations, which is nicely ignored by the international bodies. Indeed, this is a fight against terrorism, where terrorism is spread out by the fighters. Taking agenda into consideration, trades in Palestine is nearly an impossible task under the accession of actual Palestinian authority. For this matter, lives is our most utmost priority as of now. Aids provided by the international corporations are not actually harnessed by the people. Growth of GDP in Gaza today is nearly to an impossible extent as deaths are common as breathing. We ask for lawful actions to be taken by the justice system. We once again appreciate actions taken by some nations for our people. Immediate stoppage of these crimes are required and UN and WTO must ensure what is ensured to every member nation as in Palestine, taking Article 55A into consideration. Thank you. Great. Thank you, Delegate of Palestine. Uh, Delegate of Palau was recognized next. Thank you, Honorable Chair. Distinguished delegates, first and foremost, the nation of Palau stands in solidarity with the nation of Palestine. Palau stands before you today as, in the, as a champion for the cause of trade for peace. In a world marked by conflict, we believe that trade holds the key to fostering and understanding reconciliation among nations. We propose three guiding principles, that is inclusivity, dialogue, and sustainable development. By ensuring that all nations have a stake in trade, engaging in consecutive dialogue and promoting sustainable development, we can save the path to peace. The nation of Palau is committed to contributing this effort and calls upon all delegates to join us in embracing a vision of trade that transcends borders and fosters unity and prosperity for all nations. Thank you. Thank you, delegate. At this point, are there any motions or points on the floor? 
Delegates, are there any points on the floor? Delegate of uh, Tuvalu, you are recognized. Delegate of Tuvalu, you are recognized. Yes. Okay, Delegate of uh, Republic of Uruguay, you are recognized. Do you have a point or a motion to make? Uh, yes, thank you for the recognition, uh, Honorable Chair. Uh, I am honored to uh, present the Republic of Uruguay. Uruguay has ever been a active participant in the World Trade Organization. Delegate, I have asked if there is a motion or a point that you want to present. Uh, no, no, no. Okay, let's keep it on hold then. Right. Is there any other delegate, any other motion or point on the floor? Or should we continue with the general speakers list then? Delegate of Vietnam, you are recognized. Do you have a point or a motion? Delegate of Vietnam. I don't have anything to say. Delegates, I'm looking to move towards a moderated caucus. Is there any delegate who would like propose who, would, who wishes to propose a motion? Delegate of France, would you would you like to propose a motion? Honorable Chair, I would like to speak as a general speaker. All right, uh, we will put a keep a pin on that. Okay, delegate of uh, Nuaru. Uh, would you like to uh, talk as a general speaker? Okay, delegates, but I'm looking particularly for a moderated caucus. I told you we are short falling short of time, right? Delegate of uh, United Kingdom, can you please propose a motion? Yes, actually, I want to propose a motion regarding what I spoke speech anatomies. Do you want to propose a moderated caucus? Okay, um, Delegate of Republic of Malta, can you please propose a moderated caucus motion? Uh, the delegate, would, uh, delegate of Malta would like to set in formal debate and move into a moderated caucus for at least 20 minutes, uh, which will be the time of one minute and 15 minutes. All right. So, uh, delegate of uh, Malta has proposed a moderated caucus on the topic? Uh, on the topic, pillars. Uh, pillars of the Trade for Peace program. Pillars for the Trade for Peace program. With time being 20 minutes, total moderated caucus time being 20 minutes, and per speaker time being 60 seconds. All those in favor of this motion, kindly please raise your hands. Delegates, it's extremely important that you get an exposure to moderated caucus as well, because here we discuss sub themes of the agenda. So it would be uh, really fruitful if all of you can agree that we move into this moderated caucus or if anyone has any other sub theme to propose then we will move into that ma'am point of personal privilege please yes uh, uh, parliamentary inquiry sorry yes yes delegate please uh, ma'am uh, before we go on to voting we have to uh, listen to all the motions to ma'am but uh, i wasn't recognized very unfortunately delegate of afghanistan please propose your motion the delegate of Afghanistan would like to suspend formal debate and move into a moderated caucus to propose provisional measures to regulate and stabilize trade in maritime and non-maritime areas. Time period? For a time period of 15 minutes with 60 seconds for each speaker. Right. So, delegates, you have two motions, one by Republic of Malta and one by, Repub uh, by uh, Afghanistan, delegate of Afghanistan. All those in favor for the moderated caucus on the motion presented by uh, delegate of Malta, kindly raise your hands. Ma'am, point of personal privilege. Yes, please. Uh, the delegate of state of Palestine also wasn't recognized as. Please do. Yes, yes, delegate of Palestine. Uh, the delegate of Palestine would like to suspend a formal debate and enter into the moderated caucus with the agenda being discussing illicit tradings of nations that disrupt peace with emphasis on weapons with total time being 20 minutes and per speaker time being 60 seconds. 
Okay. Any other uh, proposer for moderator caucus? Kindly mention in the chat box because I'm unable to keep a track of all the hands that have been risen. You can also all the delegates who have proposed uh, moderator caucus kindly put down your sub themes in the chat box so that if someone has a bad network and if they were unable to hear, then it will be uh, clearer for them as well. Delegate, delegate of Cuba, Cuba yes, delegate of Cuba, please. Yeah, thank you, Chair. A delegate of Cuba would like to suspend the parliamentary debate and move towards the moderated caucus with a theme impact and resolutions to improve the trade in the third world countries who were war stricken. Time period? For a total time period of 10 minutes and the speaker time being one minute per speaker. Yes. Thank you. Uh, requesting a uh, delegate of Cuba also to please mention the exact theme on the chat box along with time period. Any other delegate wishing to propose a theme for a moderated caucus kindly um, mention it in the chat box. You have 30 seconds to do so. Otherwise, we will have to move on with the 4 motions that have been proposed. Um. I, I see someone. Okay. Delegate of Bangladesh has proposed a motion on benefits of trade and impact on biodiversity with a time period of 15 minutes and 60 seconds per speaker. Right. All the delegates are quickly requested to uh, just name the state, the delegates name um, state of which they would want to continue with the motion. That will be easier to keep a track of. Suppose if you if you're supporting uh, and if you want to enter into a moderated caucus on the motion proposed by delegate of Afghanistan, just write Afghanistan. And then that way we can take this vote. So you have next 60 seconds to do that. Uh, please read all the themes and then we will move into a moderated caucus based on the themes chosen by your fellow delegates. We have two in favor of Cuba, one in favor of Afghanistan, one in favor of Malta so far. Three in favor of Cuba, two in favor of Afghanistan. Three in favor of Afghanistan, two in favor of Malta. Cuba and Afghanistan's motion is almost going hand in hand with the voting. All right, it appears that uh, the motion proposed by Cuba has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven votes, and uh, the motion proposed by Afghanistan would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. So the motion proposed by a delegate of Afghanistan is hereby passed. Delegate of Afghanistan, would you like to start? Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. The delegate of Afghanistan stands in utmost pleasure right here to propose certain provisional measures which we can adopt to make sure that we stabilize world trade. First of all, would be to establish special economic zones, not just in maritime areas, but also in territorial jurisdictions, according to the uh, territorial laws of the pertinent countries, so that whatever goods and services are being traded from those uh, jurisdictions can be regulated well by that nation and also by the WTO. Now, like any other nation, history and geography have played a large role in Afghanistan's socio-economic evolution. But what we have noticed very clearly is that the infrastructure for trade to uh, to be a very significant province of our nation is very lacking due to very 
uh, abysmal international cooperation and also certain prejudice towards our nation. Therefore, in the beginning of the 21st century, we would like to make a transformative movement in the history of Afghanistan that was followed by four decades of war and conflict. Therefore, the revival of the economy required policy orientation and also gradually required fundamental overhaul of the institutions as well as the policy structures that we have. Therefore, we have uh, created the uh, three uh, policies that we uh, mentioned in the committee that is nationalization alignment and implementation and calls for the other nations yes. to I'm up. in the same cause time of delegate of afghanistan all those delegates wishing to speak on the topic proposed by delegate of afghanistan you have 60 seconds so uh, to speak kindly raise your hands i repeat the topic proposed by delegate of afghanistan is uh, discussing provisional measures to stabilize trade in maritime and non maritime areas Delegates wishing to speak, kindly raise your hands. Delegate of Germany, you are recognized next, followed by Delegate of Brazil. Germany, Brazil, Cuba. Germany, Brazil, Cuba and France, four countries. Germany. You have 60 seconds. Good afternoon. Thank you for recognizing Germany. Uh, I would like to stand with Afghanistan and, uh, and uh, kindly thank him. And uh, uh, trade for peace not only include the uh, raw materials and other products, it also includes the agricultural products and the anti dumping and uh, balance of payment. Uh, so the main agenda is to move the food from the surplus food market to the those in need in the country. So the countries with the excess of the production in the agriculture and other products, which uh, 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 contribute to the production of the food and the other materials which uh, leads to consumption in the war country. countries and uh, I request them to please provide the aid to the other country which are in need for them. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you delegate. Delegate recognized next was Brazil. Brazil, you have 60 seconds. Okay. The Brazilian delegation highlights the importance of um, address the issue of harmonious trade for peace. Brazil has been adopting the current um, trade promotion position by encouraging the presence of peace clause international agreements, such as the one that occurred in the World, World Trade Organization agreed to agreement in 1994. Um, the Brazilian government actively participated in the creation of the United, United Nations Peace Consolidation Commission in 2005, and at that the arms trade to countries that are in conflict has been um, in past in promotion peace in this place. Recently, on February 23, the UN approved a resolution to end the war in Ukraine. Brazil was one of the countries to vote in favor to call for the cessation of hostilities and create a um, space for negotiation in a peace process. And as small arms and light weapons and most conventional weapons, there are currently no agreements capable of uh, effectively regulating um, the international transfers. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Delegate. Uh, Delegate of Cuba was recognized next, and I have also pro uh, posted the list in the chat box. It will be Cuba, France, followed by El Salvador, then Malta, and then UK. So, Delegate of Cuba, you have 60 seconds. Thank you, Madam Chair, for acknowledging the Cuba. First of all, the Cuba will have to go forward. The Cuba stands on an economic pavement. The Cuba has natural resources like cobalt, nickel, iron ore, etc. Yet, due to, its, uh, due to Cuba being an island nation and being not in the upfront of many things, the cr critical aspects of these have been affecting Cuba's economy in, th in third world manner. Cuba has been reduced to a third world country despite having resources. And the, in the actual of the Mod Caucus, we propose that the, the, the proposition that nations like Cuba or which are maritime and not have resources and not fully acknowledged in the global fund be brought forward and help to support the, the aims they provide, uh, aims they like, for example, uh, aimed by that they be relieved from tax benefits, etc. Et and be allowed to trade uh, peacefully. Thank you. Yes, thank you, Delegate. Uh, delegate of... Um... Uh, France was recognized next, followed by Delegate of El Salvador. Delegate of France, 60 seconds. 
Yes, so uh, thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, esteemed delegates uh, and all the members, bonjour. The Republic of France, uh, its goal is to assist the countries in transitioning from fragility or conflict to stability and economic well-being. The government therefore supports a balanced trade policy which ensures the access of French business to foreign markets but preserves collective sensitivities and preferences. France has been supporting the Republic of Moldova in the current war-stricken scenario between Russia and Ukraine. France calls for and anticipates the peace between these nations. Therefore, also France defends alongside its, alongside its partners provisions ensuring fair competition and also encourages the introduction of safeguards or adjustment mechanisms so, not, so as not has also worked with the Council to bolster its methods. Thank you. Thank you, Delegate of France. Delegate of uh, El Salvador, recognized next. I have put the list in the chat box. Palestine will be speaking last in this moderated caucus. Delegate of El Salvador, 60 seconds. Thank you so much for the recognition, Chair. So, uh, El Salvador is a coastal nation, as many of you are aware of, and it is of critical importance of stable trade routes and, you know, efficient maritime transportation for, uh, for the betterment of economy and global economy. However, it is also important to, you know, uh, have a better communication among the cross borders as well. So I think it is a need of the art to discuss about the same and by discussing and implementing provisional measures such as contingency plans and emergency response mechanisms and cooperation frameworks, we can, you know, emphasize and enhance the resilience, resilience, ensuring continuity of trade and as well as minimizing the adverse effects of uh, disruption. And also it is also uh, and El Salvador would also like to address the trade stability that that also requires multidimensional approach. You know that involves not only governments but also private sectors, stakeholders, and international organizations for the betterment of the same. And also, uh, we emphasize the importance of discussing this provisional measure to stabilize trade in both maritime and non-maritime areas. Thank you. Thank you, delegate. Delegate of Malta, sixty seconds. Uh, thank you, chair. Uh, Malta recognizes the critical importance of stabilizing trade in both maritime and non maritime areas for global economic prosperity. As a small but resilient nation, we understand the challenges and opportunities that come with the international. The strategic location of the island, just of one of the world's busiest fishing lanes between Europe, North Africa, and the Middle East, Malta has established itself as a leading maritime center, offering an array of services and facilities to the marine industry while promoting compliance with the international regulation for safety and environment. In non-maritime trade, Malta calls for effective border management, addressing non-tariff barriers, and promoting trade diversification to enhance stability and resilience. We believe in the power of sustainable trade practices, including responsible sources and social inclusion, to ensure long-term prosperity for all. Through cooperation, dialogue, and collective action, we can implement provisional measures that foster a stable, conducive environment for trade benefiting economics and society worldwide. Thank you. Thank you, Delegate. Uh, delegate of India, um, UK was recognized next. Delegate of UK, 60 seconds. Um, thank you, Chair, for recognizing the only, I guess, we are continuing the topic of maritime trade, right? Yes. Um, I'm a bit confused. My network is pure. Poor. Okay. Thank you, Chair. Uh, I would like to uh, I would like to emphasize that maritime trade is just as important as non-maritime trade and nowadays maritime trade has become very risky as a lot of organizations are using oceans and means maritime bodies to exploit their resources and not to, and to sow fear in the minds of uh, the countries which are trading. So I guess that non-maritime trade is a better option than maritime trade. Thank you. Thank you. Delegate of India was recognized next. Delegate of India, 60 seconds. Thank you, Chair, for the recognition. In India, trade in both maritime and non-maritime areas is governed by various laws and regulations to ensure stability and promote economic growth. In the maritime sector, provisional measures may include actions of, such as ship arrest injunctions or orders to preserve evidence in cases of disputes or violation of maritime laws. 
the admiralty act of 2017 is the key legislation in india governing admiralty and maritime claims and in non maritime areas of trade provisional measures may involve uh, injunction stay orders freezing of assets or appointment of receivers to safeguard the interest of parties involved in disputes provisional measures in non maritime trade disputes are governed by the civil procedure code 1908 and the special specific relief act 1963 in india these legal frameworks provide for the grant of various interim reliefs okay you can finish that sentence sorry you can finish that sentence india okay thank you these legal frameworks provide for the grant of various interim reliefs and provisional measures to protect uh, the rights of parties involved in trade disputes and ensure a fair resolution of conflicts thank you thank you uh, delegate of turkey was recognized next delegate of turkey you have 60 seconds delegate of palestine you may take thank the floor you. thank you respected dp for a recognition to ensure stability when it comes to tradings in maritime and non maritime areas the delegate of palestine would like to state some key points which needs utmost attention which are disrupted areas illicit trades that harm peace and financial or social instability especially due to natural or man made crisis we require proper international cooperation and to develop a uh, sustained goods and services and fair multilateral negotiations to develop human resource development in nations that needs attention and to ensure safety and fair trading throughout the nation or internationally as well we also require strong lawful policies and actions of wto and un and to help the nations that need at most attention for economy and stability through international cooperation and we call out on this international body to have their attention on palestine thank you thank you delegate of palestine i have seen other delegates have raised motion some delegates would wish to speak but uh, at this point we have come to the end of the moderated caucus if there are any points or motions on the floor i would request uh, delegates to come forward with that let me be specific i'm looking for either a moderated or an unmoderated caucus to start drafting the draft resolution so kindly incline or you know uh, frame your words in such a manner so that we can move towards drafting of the resolution now right if there are any points or motions on the floor kindly put them in the chat box so that we don't miss out on anything i give you 60 seconds everyone whoever wishes to make a motion is kindly requested to please submit that in the chat box Ma'am, point of parliamentary query. Yes, please, delegate. Ma'am, could we raise the motion now itself uh, by just putting it in the chat box and also uh, uh, bringing it for forward in the forum? Uh, I would request that you put it in the chat box because it's visible to everyone. Any network issue and all will not hamper um, their, you know, information of the same. That's why I'm requesting if you can put it in the chat box. You can track the votes from there only, ma'am. Yes, we will track the votes from there itself. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. Okay, so let me just read out once and then we will start with the voting. Delegate of Palestine has proposed that uh, she would like to raise a motion for unmoderated caucus for the next 15 minutes for the proposal of draft resolution. Second, delegate of Malta has proposed that he would like to suspend the formal debate and move into an unmoderated caucus for a period of 10 minutes. Delegate of UK wants a motion to be passed regarding sanctioned nuclear defense trade deals. Kindly mention, delegate, if it is to be a moderated or an unmoderated caucus and also the time period. 
Delegate of Bangladesh has proposed a motion uh, for an unmoderated caucus for drafting the draft resolution. Delegate of Nuwaru has also proposed a motion on the agenda of um, unfair trade practice and illegal trades with per speaker time being 60 seconds and total time of 30 minutes. I think it will be uh, exceeding our time, but if anyone votes for it, I'm more than happy to pass the same. Delegate of UK uh, has also given and delegate of uh, Palau has suggested would like to raise a motion for an unmoderated caucus of 10 minutes. Right. So uh, all the voting will be taken through the chat box. You have 60 seconds delegates. Please vote in favor of the motion that you would want to continue with whether of any of the delegates. Please write the name of the country. It will be easier to track. You have exactly 60 seconds. We close the voting at 60 second mark. The delegate of Nauru would actually uh, try to edit the timings of 20 minutes for the uh, proposal being made from 30 minutes okay. to 20 minutes. Okay, please also add that in the chat box. It will be sure easier thing. for everyone to track. Sure. Uh, Ma'am, point of clarity. Please, yes. Ma'am, how many authors shall be there for draft resolution? Uh, delegate, that is your discretion. Last 30 seconds, delegates, please um, make your votes. Whichever one you would want to join. Fifteen seconds, delegates. Please choose the motion carefully. Last five seconds, delegates, we close the vote in five, four, three, two, one. Right, we've closed the voting. Last I have seen is Palau by um, Philippe. Okay. We have Bangladesh. Okay. For delegate of Malta's, we have one. Uh, that's it. Okay. Uh, delegate of Palau's motion has gotten one, two, three, four, five, six, seven votes. So Palau right now is leading. Then uh, delegate of UK. For delegate of UK, we have, I think, one. Delegate of El Salvador, you have voted for which motion? UK? One, two, three, four, five, six. No, no, five. Because El Salvador has written again. And delegate of Nuaru's motion has gotten one. So I think delegate of Palau's motion has passed with the uh, majority. Delegate of Palau has posted the, yes, unmoderated caucus of 10 minutes for drafting the draft resolution, right? So delegates, it's uh, 4.13 by my clock. It's 4 p.m., 13, 13 minutes. You have exactly 10 minutes. So please move into an unmoderated caucus. You're free to discuss however and you want with your fellow delegates and come up with a draft resolution. Remember, draft resolution has two points, preamb the heading, preambulatory clauses, and operative clauses. Ensure that you adhere to that. Rest, it is up to you. Ten minutes. All right. Uh, also... Yes, yes, state of Palestine. Yes, ma'am, you may proceed. I thought that mod is on. Yes, so uh, I will be switching off my video and I will be on mute. You can also discuss in this meeting according to your convenience. And you are also free to switch off your videos if you wish to. It's up to you. I'll see you after 10 minutes. Uh, this is the delegate of Marta here. Are there any nations from the European Union or the NATO countries? Uh, so, guys, it's the state of Palestine over here uh, to ensure that a draft resolution is there. 
these are some of the points which may be followed for my draft resolution over here. First of all, I want to know whether how many draft resolutions are we having? Uh, the leader of Malta would like to support the draft resolution. Okay, got it. So these are some of the key points which will be covered up by uh, my draft resolutions, which shall be a uh, smooth trade assurance, linking trade with human rights and developing nations uh, that needs the most attention. So in the draft resolution, we will also have some of the plans for them, and we will propose some of the international law for trades, which are uh, not so strong as of now, and to ensure proper aids given to uh, nations that need attention during crisis. Uh, then could you repeat the point? Yeah, I'm with you in this uh, point. Uh, yes, delegates, please uh, put on uh, your names. Uh, Delegate of Malta, you were speaking something. Uh, yeah, uh, can you talk about uh, the part where you spoke about the humanitarian issues? Because uh, I believe that it doesn't come under the mandate of WTO to talk about humanitarian issues. Our focus is on uh, what we are going to do related to trade and focus. Okay. Just a second. Uh, delegates, do you believe that we should have a separate Google Meet or is it fine over here? Is it fine? Of course, fine. It's fine. Yeah, got it. Fine. Just uh, post your names in the chat box, uh, those who are with the draft resolution of state of Palestine, and I require one delegate to kindly. Write all the points in the Google Doc. Uh, this is the delegate of Malta here. Uh, any any countries from the EU NATO circuit? Anybody willing to join? Delegate of Malta, it's very difficult to hear you. Uh, am I audible right now? Yeah. Yeah. Distinguished uh, delegates, uh, uh, please join the. Google Meet link that is being sent in the chat box for you all to deliberate on the draft resolution that the delegate of Palau has proposed. So please, you can go to the chat box and then join the Google meeting and do it as soon as possible because the more unmoderated caucus is of a very short duration. Thank you. How many draft resolutions are we preparing? As of now, I believe three, including mine. I request all the delegates uh, those who are in the favor of the draft resolution of the state of Palestine to post their names in the chat box so that I could add their name and signatories. And also delegates are open to put your opinions for the draft resolution as well. We actually require it. I request uh, the delegates to just put forward your opinion as of what shall be there in the draft resolution according to you. Delegate of Palestine? Yes. I would like to add establishment of a trade promotion fund for conflict affected regions. All right. Uh, Ma'am, just put forward your uh, statement in the chat box so that I will just note it down. Sure, sure. Uh, so as of now, I'm just writing. Yeah, I got it. Fine. I'm just writing all the preambulatory and uh, operative clauses. So I require the delegates to just post forward your opinion so that it will be easier and smoother. 
uh, hello fellow delegates. Uh, the delegate of Malta is like, uh, would like to propose a resolution on strengthening the pillars of the trade for peace program for a sustainable world order achieving trade for peace. Anybody who would like to sponsor sponsor to the resolution would send the uh, give the notes in the chat box. Delegate of Malta, can you please repeat? Uh, am I audible now? Can I go ahead? Yes. Uh, yeah. So, uh, the delegate of Malta would like to propose a draft resolution on strengthening the pillars of the Trade for Peace program, which is basically four pillars, and for a sustainable world order achieving Trade for Peace. Anybody would like to sponsor? Delegate of Malta. Delegate of Malta. Delegate of Malta. Yes. Uh, could you be a bit more specific on what you're exactly trying to promote? Uh, see, according to the Trade for Peace program uh, initiated by the World Trade Organization, we have four pillars. Okay, can I list them out uh, for the benefit? It's about political engagement and partnership, outreach and public dialogue, research, training and capacity building. You can further confirm this in their official website. And the delegate of Malta would like to uh, propose a resolution that strengthens uh, of what has already been, uh, you know, initiated by the World Trade Organization. Delegate of Malta, if I'm not wrong, the WTO is a dispute resolving uh, organization and it's a forum. So I would, you know, uh, like to have a draft resolution, which is actually having an action plan on how to, uh, dis uh, how to resolve all the settlements and also uh, to resolve all the disputes that we're having and also to settle any kind of uh, monetary or punitive uh, charges that are on different nations otherwise what would eventually happen is we are just uh, giving a draft resolution which just caters to the mandate a lot so i don't think that would be suitable uh, uh, delegate for the minister uh, any specific issues that you are like yes yes uh, yes please uh, delegate for uh, the issue which you are noting down that requires settling disputes so uh, we would make sure that it is there in the draft resolution as well. Uh, whether if we, uh, you are able, whether if you are okay with promoting your opinion as well, so that we would add it in the draft resolution. And we also require the authors for the same. Uh, Delegate of Palestine, uh, I would like to break it to you that uh, yours is not the only solitary draft resolution out here. And also, uh, Delegate of Palestine, uh, if we are not uh, discussing the dispute uh, settlement part in principle uh, as the fundamental action plan of the whole draft resolution, we would be uh, borderline uh, manipulating or I could say violating the mandate of the World Trade Organization. I would rather prefer that uh, to establish trade for peace, we would be uh, looking for an action plan, like not just sanctions, but also to... Uh, you know, make certain directives to the uh, to the United Nations Security Council. And by directives, I just meant uh, recommendations for directives so that they can enforce those directives and also make sure that the countries who violate the terms in the resolution are held accountable. Uh, Delegate, are there any specific issues that you would like to focus on uh, regarding because conflict of interest areas really covers a lot of issues that apparently going on? Uh, delegate, could you please be a, uh, a bit more? Uh, I, I'm I'm really sorry, but uh, there's uh, uh, absolute no clarity yeah, in your speaking. Let me speak. Let me speak. Like, are there any specific issues that you would like to focus on bringing to the DR? Like, because there's an n number of uh, conflicts that are going on currently. Had you asked me this question, I would like to make certain recommendations uh, with respect to the jurisdiction of UNCLOS. Now, obviously, we are not going to be amending the UNCLOS, but I would like to make sure that when the countries are having regulatory powers within their maritime borders, we just increase them. Uh, like to, uh, for example, if there is a ship coming into your maritime borders, we would like to have more powers to those sovereign nations to make sure that they can regulate the trade. Now, you might ask, well, delegate of Afghanistan, you are a landlocked country. How are you? How are you going? to be affected with maritime borders it is because uh, subsequent to the maritime trade is how the supply chain reaches our nation and there are a lot of barriers for it to reach so that is why we want to increase the sovereign power so that countries can be more regulating and also this would make sure that all the countries are very cooperative and mingling with each other in trade which is very essential uh, delegates uh, the time for the unmoderated caucus is exhausted are there any points or motions on the floor Delegate of Afghanistan. The delegate of Afghanistan would like to raise a motion to extend the unmoderated caucus by another five minutes. All right, delegate of UK. 
Do you second this? Delegate of UK would like to second the motion of Afghanistan. Delegate of uh, Palestine. Are you seconding the motion as well? Yes, ma'am. Uh, delegate of Cuba. Would you be seconding the motion? And Republic of Malta, would you also be seconding the motion or do you have different motions? Okay, so I believe everyone would want to discuss for five more minutes. Uh, all those in favor, kindly raise your hands. To extend the unmoderated caucus, all those in favor, kindly raise your hands. Right, I see some participation now. Brilliant. So this motion passes. We have extended the unmoderated caucus by five more minutes. You are free to deliberate. Thank you, Madam. Uh, Delegate of Afghanistan, uh, once again to clarify, are you representing the current uh, Taliban government or uh, the previous government? Uh, delegate, uh, to clarify that, um, with the discretion of the organizers, this is the Republic of Afghanistan and not the Taliban Republic of Afghanistan. So this is the Afghanistan that was pre-2020 uh, usurpation of the Afghanistan of the Afghan land, and we had uh, the policies that I am discussing. Uh, delegate of Malta, I, I couldn't get.
Right, delegates, the extended time for the unmoderated caucus has exhausted. Are there any points or motions on the floor? Excuse me, Chair. I have been wanting to pass an unmoderated, unmoderated caucus on the theme of uh, sanctioned nuclear defense trade deals. Delegate, unmoderated caucus need not have a uh, theme. Since it's unmoderated, you're free to discuss. Sorry, it's my first time attending the meeting. That's all right. That's all right. We're all learning. That's all right. I'm sorry. I just that's so I'm like having delegate of UK. Don't beat yourself on this. It's fine. Uh, yes, okay. delegate of Chad has no delegate of Chad has not delegate of Palestine. You have any motions? Uh, yes, ma'am. I would like to raise a motion to extend the unmod for the next five minutes. Delegate of Afghanistan, are you seconding this motion or do you have a different one? Uh, madam, I'm seconding this motion. All right. All those in favor, kindly raise your hands. All right. But delegates, um, let's keep it for the last five minutes. So, Matlab, what I, I wish to say is that uh, this will be the last extension, right? After this, let us move on to discuss the draft resolution. The judges are also, you know, they have been sitting here since 2 p.m. It's been over uh, two and a half hours. Let us give them some time to rest as well. Right? So the motion passes since most delegates are in favor of this motion. We're extending the unmoderated caucus by five more minutes, and then we shall move on to discussing the draft resolutions. Right? You have the, you have five minutes delegates. Delegates, I will be sharing the formed DR soon in the group. I think that is allowed. Ma'am? Yes, yes, delegate, please. This is all yours. You can share it. And if you don't have the permission on the software, kindly ask the organizers to allow you to share the document. Yeah, all right. Uh, delegate of Palestine? Yes. Uh, uh, delegate, is your draft resolution completely in format? Because I think uh, that is a really big factor which we have to see. Because otherwise, the draft resolution could be scrapped via point of orders. Sir, I'm really ensuring the same. That is what I've been doing up till now. Uh, all right, uh, delegate of Palestine. So, delegate of Palestine, uh, the delegate of Afghanistan is also having a draft resolution. So, I was thinking to uh, make sure that uh, there is discussions on both sides and also to make debate more constructive. We could, you know, have, be mutual signatories to each other's draft resolutions. So that that can also give others the space to uh, think and speak. Yes, delegate, I'm completely fine. I would like to see the draft resolution to be discussed. No problem. So, delegate, I would like to, uh, you know, have this activity right now where you would call out people and then ask them if you want to be a signatory to these uh, draft resolutions. That way it would be easy because since you tell your formatting is already done, we can just get done with the signatories because we have barely any time left. Um, before you both call upon the countries, can you just propose the agenda that you both are uh, you know, speaking for so that it will be easier for the countries to, you know, uh, go for whichever draft resolution they wish to be? Okay, so delegate of uh, El Salvador, uh, I have to clarify here that when you are having a draft resolution, it is uh, understood that it is for the agenda that is there in the meeting in itself, uh, in the in the model United Nations in itself is what I meant. So uh, in in this particular juncture, it would be trade for peace under the hegemony of WTO. So your draft resolution would be something which is pertaining to whatever uh, actions that is being uh, desired with the particular agenda that we have at hand right now and that is also why we are inviting signatories fast because uh, madam had clarified that we wouldn't be having another extension motion so i, I hope your doubt is clarified yes thank you so much you're welcome you're welcome sorry can we both for uh, vote for both draft resolutions? Definitely, definitely. Uh, that's what I, uh, that's what I was trying to say. We could be more constructive. Even if we are more constructive, we are actually you know uh, being a model to the uh, original uh, World Trade Organization by actually listening to all the countries. We cannot vote for both the drafts. 
uh, delegate by voting, I meant voting for presentation, not for the voting of the final, final draft resolution. That would be with respect to how I am presenting my draft resolution and how you are presenting your draft resolution. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. The uh, fact remains uh, that, that many nations are not even responding. So delegate, of, delegate of Palestine, I have an idea. Please, have an please idea. go ahead. So, what what we would do now, right now is we just call upon each each nation, which I would be doing right now uh, for the convenience purposes. And then we okay. just allow them to respond. And if they're not responding, we just uh, uh, allow the chair to know about this issue. And then we just by default present our draft resolutions and then we can get done with our resolutions. What do you say? Uh, that's fine. I hope that will not be time consuming. And I hope that you're done with DR as well. Uh, our draft resolution is done. So, uh, delegate, what I would be doing right now is calling out all the nations. Now, the first nation uh, is me itself. So, for my resolution, I cannot be a uh, signatory. But for your resolution, I can guarantee that I'm going to be a signatory. All right? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so fine. So, delegate of Bangladesh, are you here? Okay, delegate of Bolivia. I, I say in your uh, resolution. Okay, fine. You're 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 signatory. You're a signatory to both the resolutions, right? Yes. Oh, okay, thank you. So, Delegate of Bangladesh, you are signatory to both the resolutions. Delegate of Bolivia. Delegate of Brazil. Delegate of Chad. Sorry for the interruption. Yes. Delegate of Afghanistan. Yes, yes. Uh, if you will call all the delegates, it will take a lot of time, and okay. we only have five minutes. And I guess. Okay, okay, fine. I think uh, all right, we, all right. I suppose that uh, it's the, better if the which are not interested. signing either of the draft instead of the ones who are seconding. Uh, the ones who are not signing the draft must just mention their their names, which draft they are not seconding, so that uh, it would be much more easier because it's like some people are not participating. So let them. You know, uh, it's let let it be accepted as that they are accepting both the drafts. A delegate of Bangladesh, I think we have to see that uh, we do not have the total number of delegates right now, even as per the roll call. So I think, uh, like you mentioned, it would be suitable when we are discussing the draft resolution. They just express their solidarity. What do you say? Yeah. Okay. Delegates? Yes. Time is uh, the time for unmoderated caucus has ex exhausted. So, uh, I believe we have draft resolutions and I believe we have more than 1 of them. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. Yes. All right. So we will discuss. We will be having a reading of both the draft resolutions. So the authors of the draft resolutions are requested to keep their respective draft resolutions ready. Uh, can you please notify me through the chat box as to. How many draft resolutions are there and who are the main authors of the same? Through the chat box delegates. Ma'am, point of personal privilege. Yes, please. Ma'am, I, Ma I would request the authorities to kindly share their own screen as I have uh, shared the document on the WhatsApp group. Actually, it is not possible for me to share it. All right, uh, Rapporteur, Mr. Rapporteur, are you available? Yes. yes can you please can you please uh, share the document that uh, Delegate of Palestine has shared with you? She has sent it through WhatsApp. Is that possible to be shared? Is it possible to be shared? My point of personal privilege. Just a second, uh, Delegate of Afghanistan. Okay. I have to share it on the screen. We have to share it on the screen. Yeah, so that all the delegates and the judges and everyone can see. I'm requesting if that can be shared on the screen. You can you share. Come, you there can. Possibility. Yes. They can share. Okay, delegate of Afghanistan, you had a point of personal privilege. Ma'am, I was wondering if my co-sponsor would be presenting the document which we have right now, and uh, I, as a co-sponsor, would be reading out the document so that there is coordination between us two, and it's also a very preferable, uh, very convenient for the other delegates around here. Yes, delegate, that is fine. Are you uh, a co-sponsor alongside State of Palestine? Uh, the state, uh, I'm a co-sponsor for the uh, delegate of Palau. Palau and Afghanistan. 
Yes, ma'am. All right. So, um, all right. Uh, if the document uh, shared by Palestine is ready, then we can start and have a reading of that. Otherwise, we'll start with Afghanistan's document. Uh, ma'am, I would request the committee to begin with the document of Afghanistan and Palau. All right. Uh, state of uh, I mean, sorry, uh, Afghanistan, delegate of Afghanistan and delegate of Palau. You may share the screen and simultaneously, whoever wants to take lead may do so. Okay, ma'am. So, as per procedure, I would like to raise a motion first for the introduction yes, of the trans resolution. And uh, so, I just had a point of parliamentary inquiry. Yes. Ma'am, uh, will our draft resolution be number one? Delegate of three? Afghanistan, still you are, you are talking on behalf of Afghanistan, but your flag and your country name is uh, Philippine. No, no, sir. My uh, flag is Afghanistan. Uh, madam, if, uh, to clarify, is, is my flag Philippine or Afghanistan? Uh, I think it's a different is one. Just speak? Yeah, please just speak. Ma'am, uh, because I, I'm consulting a different screen here and I can see Afghanistan. Yeah, I'm so sorry if it is Philippines. We see the Philippines. Uh, no, no, I think um, I see Afghanistan only. Oh, thank you, ma'am. So thank it you. will be different screen. So, yeah. Yes. Madam, mm. so, uh, ma'am, point yes, of parliament. Yes, Afghanistan, please propose your motion. Are there oh, any okay. motions on the floor? Okay. I'm so, uh, a delegate of Afghanistan would like to raise a motion to present draft resolution 1.2 sponsored by delegate of Palau and the delegate of Afghanistan. Yes, delegate of Afghanistan, you are recognized alongside delegate of Palau. Please proceed. Thank you, madam. I request the delegates to please send a draft resolution in the main room through which we can share the screen. Uh, we, uh, it we may have, also be we sent on the, the draft resolution. So is that uh, okay, Madam Chair? You, you, this is fine. And yes, as well, share this document with the organizers as well. Organizers. So can we just uh, put it in the WhatsApp group, Madam? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay, Ma'am. We will be uh, dropping it in the WhatsApp group. Yes. So uh, greetings, delegates. Uh, Ma'am, uh, is is it possible we send it after we read out just? For convenience purposes. Yes, yes, that is fine. Okay, okay. Thank you. So, greetings, delegates. This is a draft resolution uh, by the Republic of Afghanistan and the Republic of Palau, and the agenda is a uh, trade for peace under the hegemony of the World Trade Organization in the Committee of the World Trade Organization. Uh, so, first would be the preambulatory cl clauses, which is recognizing the critical role of international trade in fostering economic growth, development, and prosperity among nations, acknowledging the principles enshrined in the World Trade Organization's founding agreements, which emphasize the promotion of open, transparent, and non discriminatory trade practices, affirming the importance of upholding the multilateral trading system as a means to promote stability, predictability, and fairness in relation in international trade relations, recognizing the challenges faced by developing and least developed least developed countries in fully participating in and benefiting from the global trading system, acknowledging the, adv the adverse impact of trade barriers, including tariffs, non-tariff measures, and trade distorting practices on economic growth, job creation, and poverty alleviation, emphasizing the need for concerted efforts to address trade-related challenges, including those around Arising from environmental degradation, climate change, and public health crisis, recognizing the potential of trade to contribute to the achievement of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals (SDGs) and promote inclusive and sustainable development, reaffirming our commitment to strengthening the rules-based international trading system and resolving disputes through peaceful means in accordance with the WTO principles and procedures, recognizing the importance of cooperation and collaboration among WTO members, internal organizations, and other stakeholders in addressing global trade challenges and advancing shared objectives. Now, the operative process go, uh, go as follows, which is calls upon all WTO members to provide technical assistance and capacity building support to Afghanistan to enhance its participation in and benefit from the global trading system, particularly in lights of the uh, face by the pre-2021 Afghan government, urges the establishment of a dedicated working group within the WTO to assess and address the specific trade-related needs and challenges of Afghanistan with a focus on building institutional capacity, enhancing trade fac uh, facilitation mechanisms, and promoting economic diversification encourages WTO members to consider granting preferential treatment of Afghan goods and services, including
it through the provision of duty-free and quota-free ma market access to support Afghanistan's efforts to rebuild its economy and promote sustainable development. Calls for enhanced cooperation between the WTO and relevant uh, international organizations, including the United Nations Conventions on the Law of the Sea, to address maritime trade issues affecting Afghanistan and also other nations such as port access and transit rights. In, invites the international community to support Afghanistan's as, uh, accession process to the WTO, providing uh, technical assistance and uh, expertise to facilitate the, con uh, the country's integration into the multilateral trading system and promote economic stability and growth. Emphasizes the importance of adhering to the principles and obligations of the UNCLOS in maritime trade activities involving Afghanistan, including the rights and responsibilities of landlocked states and co coastal states in ensuring uh, access to the transit through maritime routes. Encourages the pre-2021 to strengthen its legal framework for maritime trade and promote cooperation with neighboring states, calls upon all parties to the conflict in Afghanistan to respect international humanitarian law and human rights principles, including the protection of civilians and civil civilian infrastructure to ensure the safe and unimpeded flow of goods and services, including through many maritime routes. Thank you, madam. Thank you, delegate. Uh, delegate of Malta and France have also proposed a draft resolution. Is that with delegate of Palestine or? It's a separate one. No, it's a separate one with Malta and France sponsoring the organization. Is the document ready to be shared? Uh, can you give us five minutes? Uh, we, are, we are just uh, doing the final work. Uh, okay, Mr. Rapporteur, is the delegate of Palestine's uh, resolution ready to be shared with everyone? Yes, please share that. Delegate of Palestine, you have the floor. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. So this draft, uh, draft resolution shall have the following preability clauses, which include unfair trade that protects, that promotes instability in the national and international uh, forum, war torn areas that requires attentions of the nations, especially WTO, to ensure healthy and fair living, and unstable aid provision, aid provisions under war affected areas that requires immediate action of financial and basic necessities. These are the following operative clauses. Calling out on the member nations to develop a smooth negotiation system amongst themselves and to build an emergency team for the nations that require attention for AIDS and for economic restorement. Building a fair trade system and a team that ensures that illicit trading is not done, that disrupts peace in the nation and takes it under international laws as well. Ensuring an effective measure, an effective system for war affected areas to provide aids and financial plans and support in need with collaboration of red cross and who which is world health organization to establish a special community to solve disputes rather than using the adr which is alternate dispute resolution system and to develop the policies of international trade council with respect to growing technological growth and to promote a team for the e-marketing trading thank you thank you delegate uh, Delegate of Malta and France, are yes, your yes, resolution, yes. is your resolution uh, ready? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, but can we raise a point about us against uh, we are proposed by Delegate of Palestine? Against Palestine? Yes, you may. Yes. Uh, can, uh, for the benefit of those, can they just display the resolution? Delegate of Palestine, can you please, oh, uh, Mr. Rapporteur, can you please dis share the screen once again? Delegate, I must remind you that a point of order, uh, if proven wrong, would be negative to you, and if proven right, would be extremely detrimental to state of Pal Palestine's uh, stance. So, I'm just putting that out there. You are aware of it, right? Yes. All right. Uh, Mr. Rapporteur, can you please share the screen? Meanwhile, Delegate, please uh, continue with your point. The judges are hearing you. Yes, delegate. You you may proceed with your point of order. Uh, is the is the resolution displayed? I couldn't see it on my. No, it's not yet displayed. It it is being displayed. Mr. Rapporteur is taking care of it. Meanwhile, if you could just yes, see it's on the screen now. Uh, 
there's a clause where uh, the delegate of Palestine said uh, giving aid. Is it really aids or does it mean aid? Because the plural of humanitarian aid or something is just aid, it's not aid. So I would like to clarify that. Delegate of Palestine, do you wish to do you wish to exercise your right to reply? Yes, ma'am. I would request the delegate to just repeat their stance. Yeah, the delegate have mentioned in their resolution about uh, supplying aid. Uh, I I couldn't I mean I cannot zoom into the resolution to just show you the exact uh, clause that the has been shown. Can uh, the rapporteur sir could kindly zoom into the document? Mr. Rapporteur, can you please zoom? Which clause particular? Can you give us a number? Okay. Can I scroll down, please? Scroll down, please. Yes. Which one? Um, give me a second. Okay, it's on three ensuring. Ensuring an efficient system for war affected areas to provide proper proper aid. It says aid. Aid is a disease, if I'm not wrong. And how do you provide that? How would that stand? Okay. It's about aid, not aid. That's my point about it. Delegate of Palestine, your right to reply. Yes, uh, aids include multiple stances. I mean, a country has so many issues which shall be promoted. It requires health and food. So, altogether, it is aids. It is in a plural stance. It does not need to be aid. Uh, delegate, uh, my stance is that, uh, that the, the plural form of aid is still aid. Aid refers to a disease. Delegate, what he wishes to point out is that AIDS would refer to uh, an autoimmune disease and this here should, it should have been the word AIDS. So, um, please kindly take note of it. So, have the judges. Let us proceed with your resolution so, now, Delegate of Pardon. So, for interruption, that AIDS, what uh, it is criticized, this is about the small letter. If it would have been in capital letter, then there would be the, there would yes. have been the discussion. And one of the theme of WTO is that to allow free flow of the goods for the fragile, uh, I mean, war affected states. That is uh, essential goods. That's also coming under the aid. What uh, the state of Palestine has proposed. Apart from this, if there is another thing with the class, you can. I believe there is none. Uh, delegate of Malta and delegate of France, please continue. Uh... Please display your resolution for everyone. Uh, am I allowed to share my screen? Or uh, yes. I have sent it to Globe so that the rapporteur can uh, assist us with that matter. Delegate, you may show you your screen. If you have it on your screen, on your desktop, please share your screen. It will be easier. Okay. Give me a second. Meanwhile, I'm requesting all the other delegates to kindly uh, make a note of which resolution is most in your favor or whichever one, whichever one you would want to support. Because after delegate of Malta's uh, resolution reading, we will be straight away going to voting. We were, we are not accepting any friendly or unfriendly amendments at this point owing to paucity of time, right? So we will not be dwelling into that. We'll straight away go to the voting voting on these resolutions. Delegate of Malta, uh, you have to Sir, uh, is my resolution visible? Yes, yes, it is. Okay. Uh, the United Nations World Trade Organization, guided by the principle of the United Nations, recognizing uh, the principle and purpose of the United Nations enshrined in the first chapter of the United Nations Charter, building the pillars of the T40 Trade for Peace program proposed by the World Trade Organization towards achieving peace through the means of trade integration. Expressing grave concern over the ongoing geopolitical tensions that restrict peace in the region, thereby initiating to foster collaborative dialogue among member nations. Embracing diversity, fostering inclusive trade policy, and addressing underlying inequality are to be identified as essential steps towards achieving sustainable peace 
to harmonize trade practice, calling for effective border management, addressing non-tariff barriers, and promoting trade diversification to enhance stability and resilience. Believing in the power of sustainable trade practices, including responsible sourcing and social inclusion to ensure long-term prosperity for all, emphasizing the need for enhanced security measures to combat piracy and illicit activities while promoting compliance with international regulations for safety and environmental protection, calling for in improved port infrastructure and trade facilitation to streamline process and reduce costs. That's my resolution uh, proposed by France and Malta. Thank you. Thank you, Delegate of France. Uh, I'd... Yes, Delegate of Palestine, you have a point? Yes, ma'am. After every, ma'am, I have a point of order. Ma'am, after every operative clause, there was a full stop, which is not need to be considered. There is there is supposed to be a comma. Comma or a semicolon, you're correct. Okay, that has been taken into consideration and uh, the judges will take care of it. Uh, Delegate of Malta, do you wish to reply? Or Delegate uh, of France? Yes, uh, we have concentrated more on uh, working towards the resolution, therefore uh, any uh, punctuation error Yes, yes, that's all right, delegate. We are all learning, like I said in the beginning, right? Thank you. And that's fine, absolutely fine. Anyway, uh, now we move on to the voting, right? First, we will. Ma'am, point of personal privilege. Yes, delegate of Afghanistan. Ma'am, I had raised my hand for a point of order. All right. Then you should have, okay. The correct point here would not have been personal privilege. It, if you have raised it for point of order, and if the chair has not recognized it, then you say point of parliamentary inquiry, right? Uh, anyway, okay, I recognize delegate of Afghanistan. Please proceed. Ma'am, the forum in that particular draft resolution was mentioned wrong. It was written the United Nations World Trade Organization, which is incorrect because UNTWO is for tourism and not for trade uh, purposes, and it is just World Trade Organization. Right, a uh, delegate of Malta or delegate of France, would you like to have a right to reply? Uh, yeah, it, it wasn't, uh, uh, you know, uh, we believe that the World Trade Organization, uh, you know, as pointed out by the delegate of Afghanistan, uh, it shouldn't have appeared with that verbatim. But then again, uh, we believe, uh, you know, points, you know, keeping the same. Right. Any other uh, points on the floor, delegate? Delegates? Anyone else who wish wishes to make a submission? All right. Then um, I see no hands risen. We shall proceed to the voting. Delegates in favor of the first resolution, that is the resolution proposed by delegate of Afghanistan and Palau, kindly raise your hands. Raise your hands because I will be taking a count manually. All right, Afghanistan one, Norway two, Cuba three, Brazil four, Chad five, no, Norway is done, Brazil six, that's it, uh, Palau seven, Croatia eight, Iraq 9, Uruguay 10, Venezuela 11, 11. It will 11 in the favor of Afghanistan and Palau's um, draft resolution. You may all lower your hands now. All in favor of the second resolution. That is the resolution proposed by delegate of Palestine. Kindly raise your hands. I see delegate of Palestine 1, Bangladesh 2, Tuvalu 3, Japan 4, Chile 5, El Salvador 6, India 7, Kuwait 8, and that is it. So 8 for resolution drafted by State of Palestine. 
Last one, you may all lower your hands now. The last uh, draft resolution, the most recent one drafted by Malta and France, all in favor, kindly raise your hands. A delegate of France. Delegate of Malta, you are also supposed to raise your hand in case you haven't. Uh, I have. Yes. Delegate of Malta, one. France would be two. Croatia, three. That's it. All right, so the first uh, resolution passes by clear majority that is by delegate of uh, Afghanistan and delegate of Palau. Congratulations. But that does not mean that any of the other draft resolutions were not good. It's just that sometimes um, Croatia voted twice. I understand I took that in, into account, but irrespective, the delegate of Afghanistan's uh, a resolution has passed with majority. So congratulations on that. And uh, I'm requesting for motions to close the debate for the day. Are there any motions on the floor delegates? Any, any other delegate who wishes to make a motion? Delegate of France? Yes, delegate of Marta. Uh, has the point of order been ruled upon by any chance? Being ruled upon? Yeah. Uh, no, I'm not ruling on any of them because these things are, you know, generally the chair is the one who judges the best delegate award, right? But here in our case, we have separate judges. So they are taking care of it and I will not be dealing or ruling on any of these. Thank you. The, the ultimate aim is so that you score points. Correct? Okay. Okay. Delegate of France, you are recognized. Can you please make a motion to close the debate today? Respect the chair. That was, uh, I had raised a hand for the previous uh, motion of voting. Okay, you had not uh, lowered it. Fine. Um, any other delegate who wishes to make a motion? To close the debate for the day, Delegate of El Salvador, would you like to do it? Uh, yes, thank you. I would, uh, thank you for the recognition, Chair. I would like to put forth a motion for promotion of alternative dispute resolution and trade among cross borders because it is really tiresome for in, in case there are cases among cross borders, saying, for example, a violation of rights of another country. It is very hard for the person to physically be there and the court procedures are kind of lengthy. So we put forth the we put forth the motion of promoting the alternative uh, dispute resolutions. But is that are you proposing a moderated or an unmoderated caucus? Uh, yes, uh, for, uh, un unmoderated caucus for about five minutes about this topic. All right. Uh, any other motions on the floor? Delegate of Palestine, you're recognized. Thank you, respected chair, for your recognition. The delegate of Palestine would like to suspend the documentation process and to adjourn the committee. Right. Any other motions on the floor? Delegate of Malta, are you seconding the motion proposed by delegate of Palestine? Uh, the delegate of uh, Malta would like to suspend uh, the documentation process and uh, move towards the closure of the so, delegate of India, do you have another question other than the two, three proposed? No, oh, I'm seconding the delegate. You're seconding. Of... All right. So, uh, all those in favor of moving towards a moderated caucus, kindly raise your hands. I'll be taking a manual vote. All those in favor of moving into a moderated caucus, we have one. Uh, UK, are you also supporting moving to a moderated caucus? One, El Salvador, I'm assuming you're supporting your motion. Right. Um, expect a chair. I would like to second El Salvador's motion. All right. So we have two in favor of El, El Salvador. Uh, uh, Delhi and um, Japan also, I believe, wants a moderated caucus. 
now let us vote on the motion to adjourn the meeting for the day delegates in favor of closing the meeting for the day and uh, ending the documentation process so this motion clearly passes we have come to the end of the day thank you delegates it was a wonderful session all the best thank you madhura ji uh, thank you i would like to call upon mr jelly mangu on behalf of the judges to present the the judgment what he has judged and what he has analyzed the based on the scoring mr mangu over to you okay thank you too uh i will start with best delegates uh the best delegate number one is afghanistan mm. he scored 89 points the best delegate number two is palestine she scored 88.5 the best delegate number three. Number three is Malta. It's called eight five. Then there are uh, three hundred of mention. Number one goes to Palestine. He scored 90. Number two goes to Afghanistan. He scored 89. Number three goes to France. Scored 80. Hello. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, I would okay. like to call upon organizing secretary to deliver word of thanks. And after that, we shall have some feedback and comments from the participants. Thank you so much. Uh, now I request Apnam Rahul, uh, 10 seminars.